Stop recording video. Face center. Speech off. Hi guys, it's VI Life with Kelly. Coming at you with another Cook With Me video for our October 2021 um, series. And as promised, I'm making those lamb chops and the red potatoes. I'm going to go in and saute some Brussels sprouts and some long stem green beans. I'm thinking about finishing up the cabbage from last weekend um, because I still have like maybe half of a head of cabbage in there. But who knows because I'm hungry and I'm sleepy already. I did forget my chives. For you all who are wondering what are chives, they're green onions, finely chopped green onions that you just mix in. You can whip it in with your butter and a little garlic salt. And then um, if you're making baked potatoes, then you can mash it in the potatoes. Um, or you can whip it in um, if you're going to make mashed potatoes. You could whip it in. So um that's what's going on let me show you guys really quickly what i picked up from sam's club today i was thinking i was going to go to costco but i didn't hold on face on face up face center selfie zoom face center face center okay, stop recording video face so, speech off number one um i already have the oven preheating to 350 degrees so if you're cooking um together with me go ahead on and turn your oven on to 350 degrees the next thing that I've got started, um, I've already grabbed my lasagna pan, or you could call this a casserole pan, and I've coated the bottom with olive oil. Um, and then I've cut up uh, one entire whole yellow sweet onion. So that's what you see here, guys. Um, and I'm getting ready to add my seasoning. Let me tell you guys what I got over here. Um, I have that salt-free garlic and herb blend that has pepper in here. Um, so let me go and I'm going to throw that in here. I have seasoned salt. Um, hold on, guys. Let me just go on and throw my seasonings in here. I do have seasoned salt. I have garlic salt in here. Let me see. The way you know you have enough is because you can smell it, but for those of you all who are visual, you can see it. Um, definitely you guys want to um, put this in. We're baking our lamb chops, guys, and um, you definitely want to put and bake your lamb chops in a piping hot oven okay you definitely want to do that so um i did use some longhorn grill seasoning um in these lamb chops and i'm going to um let me show y'all so this is the olive oil i'm using it's from target um i think it's called Anyway, here's my long stem green beans. Um, I think I got these from Kroger. And let me see. Here are my Brussels sprouts that I believe I got from Kroger as well. Both of these are frozen. Um, I do have some a new tub of Smart Balance, which is your um, butter alternative. It's a non-dairy, soy-free. Um, butter alternative I did pick up um, I did pick up a 10 pound bag of red potatoes from Sam's Club today um, and I am baking potatoes I'm not going to do mashed potatoes today we'll do that next time um, so those will be in the oven as well I'll be baking those for about 45 minutes and I do like to lightly coat my baked potatoes in olive oil before I wrap them let me show you guys. Y'all know I walk past the um, camera because I have more. My kitchen goes in the letter C. It's in the shape of a letter C. Here's my lamb chops that I got from Sam's Club. They're from Australia. And um, this is a 1.53 pound package. It has six lamb chops in here and it was $13.28, which is a really good buy. Um, typically, I would pick up my lamb chops from Costco. You can get a, a 
super, it's like really large pack. It probably has like 15 lamb chops in it. And it's about right at 30, like right under $30. But um, this is what we're gonna be preparing. So I'm gonna go in and rinse these in um, apple cider vinegar and water. And I just used the bottle of Simple Truth distilled water like I showed you guys before when I was doing the steak. Um, so I'm gonna rinse these and wash them a little bit in the apple cider vinegar wash. And then I'm going to bring them over here to my casserole pan with the seasoned olive oil and onions blend. Um, and then cover them up with aluminum foil, completely seal the pan and then put it in the oven. Don't forget, go on and turn the oven on guys and preheat at um, 350 degrees. Fahrenheit guys. So this meal is gonna be a quick prepare because um, literally everything's going in the oven. I will show you guys the final result um, on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, this is the perfect time to do so. It's VI Life with Kelly. And um, it's Instagram, it's Twitter. It's my Gmail, so if you want to send me an email, let's do it, guys, because you can definitely um, email me. I put the picture of me taste testing everything, and um, what I use is in the comments of my post on my IG, and then I do an IGTV video just showing you guys what everything ends up looking like. So, um... Oh, you guys, sorry about that. So definitely uh, check it out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe here. And let me see where my vinegar is real quick. Okay, guys. Um, here's something. Let's see what's in here. Yep, here's some vinegar. I use Bragg's apple cider vinegar, you guys. Um... I use like maybe a fourth of a cup and then I use an entire bottle of Simple Truth distilled water. Let me get it. Oh, maybe something's in here. No, let me see if I already have water in here. Let me see. Let me see. Um, okay, wow. Get my bottle of water. Oh my! If I don't have distilled, I will use alkaline. Okay guys, so here it is. Let me see. I'm going to use some alkaline water. The thing about it is whatever you're gonna do, do it quickly because the vinegar will eat up your meat. It'll eat up the bone. Um, so don't have it just soaking in pure vinegar. Vinegar is extremely strong. Don't drink vinegar straight up none of that okay guys so i'm washing my um lamb right now it doesn't take much guys okay bye-bye I like with Kelly video without Charles protesting in the background. You guys, I'm really considering for the holidays letting Charles be a guest chef on the holiday videos because he, his feelings are really hurt that he hasn't been able to participate. For all of you all who don't know who Charles is, who's not following me on IG, Charles is my spaniel. He's my baby boy. He's 10, he's a Leo, 
And then we got Lola, and she is a lovely Libra. So, her birthday's on Thursday, guys. Hope y'all are having a wonderful weekend. Wonderful, wonderful weekend, guys. Okay, I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna do one more rinse, and I'm done. Washing your um meat, it shouldn't take forever. Um, some people like to soak it overnight, which is good. The thing I like to use vinegar because it also opens up your meat to absorb the flavor. And I really like that. Let me see, I'm gonna just rinse one more time with my alkaline water. Okay, let me see, and we're finished. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave that over there. Let me start. Let me, I, no, I'm not going to leave it there. Let me show y'all. Because I use a um, brownie pan to get that ready. So here is all six of the lamb chops. Hopefully, y'all can see it. Here's all six of the lamb chops. And... What I'm getting ready to do now is, um, let me see, let me put this back down here real quick because I want to transfer everything real quick. But before I do that, I want to make sure, um, let me get a fork. Okay. Let me get a fork. Okay. Now. Let me stir this around. Australia because they tend to practice um, more natural environments for raising um, their animals, whatever you want to call them, the farm animals, blah, blah, blah. cattle. Okay, so I'm done with this. Alright, so there it is. Alright, so guys, I'm finished with this. Let me see. Okay, yeah, this is looking good. Alright, so I'm going to put this up. Hold on, guys. So now, I'm washing my hands real quick. 
Hopefully you guys can already see what it looks like in the pan. But if you can't, I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you guys what it looks like. lamb chops and they're smothered in the olive oil seasoned olive oil with the chunks of uh, onions so now I'm just grabbing some foil we're gonna bake these for about 45 minutes and I leave them hold on yeah, I leave them in the oven while the oven cools down. So you could say they simmer for about half an hour after they bake at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. So the total cooking time is easily about an hour and 15 minutes. About an hour and 15 minutes, guys. I know you're like, where's your apron? I didn't feel like it today, guys. I don't want an apron. I just wanted to hurry up. Let me see. I'm hungry. So I'm going to put this at the top of the oven. I don't know why, y'all. This oven is not hot. I'm so mad. Evidently, I cut my oven off thinking I was cutting it in. All right. So here we go. Now we're going to get into our baked potatoes. Um, I have a house of three of us right now, so I'm going to make seven potatoes. Um, just because I'm pretty sure everybody wants two and somebody might want a third. Um, or, you know how it goes. But these are really large red potatoes. So, I might just do, well, that one's really big. The rest of them are a good size. So, yeah, I'm just going to still do seven. And that one was huge. All right, seven. Okay, so that's seven potatoes. So, finish with that. I'm going to put this bag over here. Now, what I do with my potatoes is I get, like here's a skillet over here that I'm going to use for vegetables, but I'll put some oil in the skillet and then I'll put a little seasoning, just a smidge, like, I don't know. This one smells super good. That's gonna make the lamb so good. Let me see. Let me see what else. It's not smelling like nothing. I'm almost finished. Believe it or not, guys, we're almost done. That smells kind of good. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of this. This is just black pepper. you want in yours. I just put a little black pepper in mine. Um, so now I'm going to wipe these uh, potatoes off. I'm going to, matter of fact, let me get my collar now so y'all can see. Here. Some type of way. Okay, here it is. Okay, guys, hold on. Oh, well. Let me move on. I wanted to show y'all my colander because it's easier to rinse them in there. But I just got a cup of bowl. Okay, guys. Oh, 
Okay, so now I'm about to rinse these potatoes real quick. Rinse the potatoes. I throw a little soap on them. You can use whatever you want, vinegar, which is really good. Some people will dash a little salt on your um, vegetables because it kills the little pests that you can't see. It'll get them off a little. Use a little kosher salt and dash it over your um, vegetables, over your potatoes. And then, you know, rinse them. That's what you used to do with um, cabbage, with cabbage and greens, fresh greens. When you soak them, you soak them in salt water and then you wash them. And you get everything off. It tastes really good. When you skip, like, all those little things really add to your meal. So it's not like, you know, oh, I don't need to do that. Yep, you need to do it. So I'm not going to count 45 minutes until I put these potatoes in the oven because the oven was not warm, even though I thought it was. I should have had it double checked. I'm really mad about that. Okay, guys, so I finished rinsing and cleaning my potatoes. So now I'm just going to roll each one in this olive oil, which doesn't take anything. This is the same way that I bake my corn on the cob when I'm doing corn, which I don't eat corn very much. Well, let me say this, because I do eat tortilla chips, and I do eat tortillas regularly, but as far as cooking the vegetable corn, I don't do that often. Um, unless it's with my mixed vegetables or something. Okay guys, so I'm done just about rotating my um, potatoes. So now I'm gonna get my um, seed, my foil. the lamb so after 45 minutes I'll cut the heat and let them sit in there and cool with the oven and it'll take about half an hour for it to cool with the oven um yeah about half an hour and that's that so okay guys I think I did oh no I still have one more one two Three, four, five. How do I miss? Did y'all see me miss something? Oh, well, I guess I missed one. So, um, okay, guys. So, I got one last potato. That's that. 
Okay guys, so there's no more potatoes. So typically what I'll do, let's see if I find like another lasagna pan. If I find another lasagna pan, oh you know what I can use? Uh oh. You know what I can use though? I can use um yeah. Let me use a, I'll use a cookie sheet to I'll use a cookie sheet today, but if I was only making two or three potatoes, I would just lay them right in the oven. But since I'm making six, I'll put these on this cookie sheet. Or seven. Ooh, this, this thing is getting crazy. Okay. I think that's all of our, okay. So these are all of our potatoes. And now I'm putting them in here at the bottom it smells good in there by the way guys okay so we're finished with that so now let's get to the part of making our um of making our green beans and our brussels sprouts okay so of course what do we need olive oil we always need olive oil, guys. We're never ever going to be done with the olive oil. What else do we need? We need onion. Okay? Alright, now. Some of y'all are watching like, did she just put more olive oil in that pan? Yes, I did. Let me see if I can find another onion because I'm getting kind of concerned right now. Okay guys, I found some onions, which is great news for us. I have my cutting board over here. Just gonna flip that around there. Okay, I'm gonna cut that open a little bit because I'm gonna use one onion in each pan. And once again, these are my yellow sweet onions. I got them by the bag at Target. It was like $2.49. It was like two forty nine. I think you get like seven onions in that bag. Okay, so really quickly, what we're gonna do? I'm gonna take all the skin off this onion really quickly um, and peel this. Put this over here. Let me see. Okay, cool. So now, let me see. here. I haven't turned the heat on yet and if I were you I wouldn't do it yet because the vegetables quick cook quickly and they burn quickly too. So don't put anything in there until you're ready. And that means like all your seasonings and the oil and your onions are done. They're in there. You're not still chopping. It's not going to work. Um, I got my cutting boards from Marshalls. They had like a three pack of all different sizes. And it was like, it was less than $20.
It might have been like $11.99, something like that. But I went to like several different places looking for cutting boards because I get new cutting boards every year. Um, yep, I'm just about done. So this is the second onion for the, for the other pan over there. Um, For my Brussels sprouts, I'm going to add some onion, I mean some, uh, I'm going to add some honey from the state that I live in, and for the um, green beans, I'm going to add some Creole seasoning, so if you don't have that, then um, use what you have. Cause you might not even like a little, I like a little um, kick to my Brussels sprouts and it kicks out, the honey kicks out that bitter taste they can have sometimes. So um, I went to this restaurant inside the Intercontinental Hotel and they're the ones introduced me to honey braised. They're called Honey Braised Brussels Sprouts. They're really great. And they have like this macaroni and cheese to die for. I just threw onions across the over this. Sorry guys. Okay guys, so I'm finished with that. Um putting that over there. So now that we've got that going, now I'm gonna add the heat. I'm putting it on a medium high heat. Okay, medium high heat, and I'm going to go on and add a couple of things. Like I told you guys, I'm going to put about one tablespoon of honey in here. So if you live in the state of Texas, you should get honey from the state of Texas. Um, Walmart is really good about having it. Kroger is really good about having it. If you're in Oklahoma, the same thing. Walmart is really good about having honey from the state of Oklahoma. Whatever state you live, they have it. They're really good about that. That's the one compliment I can give Walmart. Okay. Now, I have my Creole seasoning ready. Because right now, I'm looking for it. Mm, this smells so good. I'm gonna enjoy that on those green beans. Um, I pretty much smell everything due to my visual impairment. I don't know. I've always smelled everything. Let me not even put it. Let me not put it on the on visual impairment because I like to know that things are fresh. Um, and you just can't tell that just by looking. Like some people think they can, and that's fine. Maybe you can. I'm not doubting you. I'm not gonna doubt it. But that's not how I like to do it. I like to smell it. Um. Oh, did I have it? Okay, guys. So pretty much, I think I'm done with seasoning. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in here. Just a little bit here. It's a pepper as well. Okay, guys. And I'm pretty much done. Now I'm gonna wait till that gets hot. Let me rinse my hands. Okay, great. So I'm gonna wait until this gets hot. Let's check our time. Let's check our time, guys. <coughs> that pepper does that to me every time. Excuse me. So let's just see. Now, another thing I like adding. Excuse me. 
green vegetable at every meal and definitely try your best to have one for dinner no matter what. Have a colorful plate you guys. Let me see. Those green beans are cooking. These Brussels sprouts are over here playing. I don't know why. I think it's the skillet I'm using this time. Like the heat. And 
more. These green beans are just about done. Hopefully y'all can see them. Turn the pan a little bit so y'all can see. Those are those green beans. Yummy. They're almost long enough you would think they might be asparagus. I make my asparagus the exact same way, so you could apply this recipe or cooking strategy and just throw asparagus. Asparagus does not take long, y'all, especially if you're cooking it on the grill. Five minutes. Don't even play with it. Super good. Okay, so that's that. The Brussels sprouts smell delicious. The Green beans smell delicious. I'm going to bring the heat down here, turn it off, and let that simmer down and cook for the last couple minutes. Off of the heat that's there, that's plenty, okay? All right, so now I'm going to let those Brussels sprouts cook for another five minutes. It's 7.18 now. Okay guys, so I'm going to be turning our um, lamb and potatoes off at the top of the hour. So if you're on the east coast, that'll be at 8 o'clock. And if, um, as far as for the vegetables, they're done. So I'll be cutting off the um, Brussels sprouts at about 22 after the hour, if you're preparing them with me. So the whole cooking time of the vegetables was about, for the green peas, about 7 to 10 minutes. For the Brussels sprouts, about 12 to 15 minutes. Now, had I put the Brussels sprouts in this wok pan, then our Brussels sprouts probably would have been done 7 to 10 minutes as well if the um, pan would have been piping hot. And that's how I like preparing everything with the pans, oil, seasoned oil, Whatever you're using, your vegetables like onions, scallions, whatever, I mean shallots or scallions, whatever you want to use to season and flavor your vegetables, that all needs to be in the pan with no heat and then you turn the heat on after you finish adding those. Let it get hot, then add your vegetable to that. Super delicious, guys. But anyway, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for this time together. Um, so our meal will be posted on my IG. Oh, Charles wants to say it this time, y'all. Anyhow, the meal will be posted on IG. It's baked lamb chops um, with your baked red potatoes. I'll show you guys how I um, garnish or what is it? Season, season my baked potato and. Um, and then I'm done the long stem sauteed green beans and the Brussels sprouts, okay? The honey braised Brussels sprouts. Have a great day, guys. It's Friday in Atlanta. It's 80 plus degrees. And Charles is being Charles. It's the B.I. Life with Kelly from my kitchen to yours. Battery. 20% battery remaining. Close. Button. Stop recording video. Button.